Our own photojournalist Jamie Long cut these high winds from the storms in White County. Reports of widespread blowing dust from winds up to 60 miles an hour with these storms. We had a wind gust of 61 at Wolcott. And I had some viewers uh, send me pictures of just a wall of dust that knocked the visibility down to about an eighth of a mile that was blowing off some of those newly planted farm fields. Now notice the wind damage we had in the viewing area again up here towards Remington, Wolcott, Kentland and then a little farther off to the west we had one report of large hail here in eastern Howard County and two reports of tornadoes. Now I had numerous reports of a tornado north of Rensselaer and I looked back at the radar data boy there's a good couplet there I'm sure the National Weather Service in Chicago will survey that possibly tomorrow. I also had reports of a tornado near Buffalo in White County. I look back at radar velocity data there and there's definitely a couplet there. So there may have been a touchdown and may have been out in a field, but two reports of tornadoes in the viewing area tonight and the rest again wind largely. All right, let's go to precision now and notice how we're pretty stable in the viewing area. We've got rain cool air that's come off of those storms we had earlier. So not a lot of storm action, but check out what's happening to our southwest. Notice the storms forming here southwest of Champaign. These are moving east northeastward, so we could get in on some more storms as we get into the overnight, at least a scattered fashion. And then some of these storms up here in northern and northwest Illinois, these will drop to the east and southeast overnight and could bring storms. And I'm still going to keep at least a scattered severe weather threat in the forecast right into the overnight hours before it pulls out of here towards about 5 o'clock in the morning. Now let's go back to the maps here and you'll notice, uh, first of all, temperatures that are cooler where it's rained, 65 Logansport, 68 Lafayette. But notice how it's 77 Crawfordsville and it's 76 at Perrysville. So this is the outflow boundary, the leading edge of the cool air rushing up from the storms. Now once you get on the other side of that boundary, it's unstable and it's warm. And some of this warm air is starting to work back in. So I think temperatures may actually start to rise a little bit tonight where it has cooled off and rained, and that could provide additional fuel for redevelopment of storms as we get into the overnight hours. So once those pull away by five, though, it's partly cloudy in the morning, but noon, a few storms developing, severe weather back in the forecast for tomorrow afternoon, windy, hot, and humid, 88 for the high. So after the evening severe weather outbreak, more severe weather Monday looks pretty similar to what we had today, clusters of supercellular thunderstorms, but no severe weather expected Tuesday. Just a scattering of showers and thunder showers. There's future cast. Again, any storms tonight will pull out of here towards around 5 a.m., but check out what happens tomorrow afternoon. Clusters of storms redeveloping, large hail, wind, perhaps an isolated tornado threat in the afternoon. Highs are running 85 to 90 degrees area wide, another hot and humid day. And really quickly here, notice the severe weather we had this evening, which is right there. There's the severe weather we'll have tomorrow, but thankfully it's pulling away by Tuesday. Scattered storms are back in the forecast for the overnight hours. Some severe down to 68, 70 forecast, 88 tomorrow, a little cooler as we get into Tuesday, Wednesday. Now, as we get towards Wednesday and Thursday, our next system speeding up so we can get some showers and storms then and much warmer heat 91 by Sunday. Can't complain about the heat, although the storms, they've been bad. The wind's been bad. Uh, yeah, the heat and humidity could fuel more storms maybe late, late next week, and we'll keep an eye on it. All right, thanks, Chad. Thanks sure. for being with us. And Kayla, what are we talking about sports tonight?